Hello again everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, now you can see behind me there is a Unify Mesh AP that was put up in a hurry by myself about three years ago when these came out. Um, now something that has I've been asked quite a few times is how well these units do actually survive. Now I'm in Cornwall, I'm on top of a hill, I have a stunning view. That way is the sea. Um, so, I thought I'd uh, show you exactly how well one of these units has survived out in the open with two winters, or coming up three winters I think, uh, worth of wear and tear and wind and rain and sun, because it's in direct sunlight, has been all its life, it's, it has only ever lived outside, um, and uh, hopefully answer some people's questions on that. So. I need to swap an end on it anyway because I think one of the ends is playing up on the cable but uh, we'll, uh, I'll get it off its pole and uh, show you what's good, what's bad and everything else. Now just to give some people an idea before I whiz this thing off, yes it's only held on by actually a single cable tie and as you can see I say this was put up in a hurry just to cover a play area quickly and like a lot of things it stayed here. So a bit of maintenance on it, as I say. I think one of the ends needs recrimping. It might not be this end, but it hasn't done much, hasn't moved much in three years. And uh, have a quick look at him. As I say, you can see that it's suffering from a bit of green on him. The antennas, both okay, spinning. Again, you can see a bit of weathering on the back of that one and on that one but they're in one piece they haven't cracked they haven't broken they're still all in one piece the outside casing it's a bit weathered but uh, while i get it down i'm going to move it further up this pole put it at the top anyway um again we've got a bit of green obviously around the bottom where the the water tends to sit and drip but the uh the bung is still in and if I pop the lid open, open, there's no evidence of water ingress or anything like that. So, as I say, this one is, from its location, it is sat out in the open. It's not sheltered. It's been on top of this building, on its pole. We're coming up, I think it's just around three, three and a bit years. This is one of the first ones I purchased for a customer. And uh, obviously with summer happening down here, it's time to uh, just give everything a check over for them, make sure they're ready for the summer season and uh, go from there. So I'll pop him off and just give it a bit further inspection just to show you how well they survive. Right, just again, got him down now. And let me say, one of the obvious things on here, yes, you can see the aerials have discolored a bit to be expected, but the rest of the body seems fine. The seals are all okay. Bit of green on the back, nothing to worry about. Bit of green underneath. Uh, I think we've had a spider quickly managed to hide a few little things in there. Bit of bit of muck, but the port's all clean. There's no corrosion in there. Obviously, without opening up, you can't confirm too much. But I don't have any problems with this point. Again, this is just doing some maintenance and making sure everything's okay, ready for the season. And uh, again, just. The, uh, one of the things, obviously, everyone always did whinge about. I mean, I know that people have had some of these in some hotter climates that have suffered from cracked aerials, but so I can't see I've had a problem other than a bit of fading and just about make out the uh, Ubiquity logo. But uh, she's uh, all happy and good. Here we go, UAP, blah, 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 blah. So this one was one of the first ones I purchased when they launched over here in the UK. Um, and we use them everywhere. So there you go. I'm going to check her through, mount her back up again. I've got some uh, stainless cable ties to go in on them now, just to reinforce it a bit. And uh, it will join itself back into the mesh, which is part of. It's uh, acting as a, a base for a couple more mesh APs that are hidden out over the campsite and we'll go from there. 
and there she is all mount mounted and in operation again. Uh, hopefully, again, some of you who have had questions in the past on the uh, longevity of the Unify access points will see. Yes, they last, they last very well um, here in the UK. I have got three, four, five year old Unify access points out on sites with no issues out in all weathers, uh, varying in age. So still until recently had some of the old Pico stations acting as uh, Unify APs. Um, and those of you who use the Ubiquiti, Nanos, Locos, all that stuff will know that, I mean, we've got some of these that are approaching probably 12 plus years old and they haven't missed a beat. So if you ever had any worries that the kit won't last, at least here in the UK, um, we've got salt air blowing in from the sea here. We're on top of the, uh, the hills here in Cornwall. We get rain, snow, wind, all three in the same day. Uh, lots of sunshine during the summer um, and, and it all stays working so hopefully this will be useful to some of you anyway if you've been watching thank you for getting to the end and uh, please feel free to like subscribe comment etc etc I would appreciate it if you do subscribe um, it'd be nice to get the numbers up which allows me to do more and uh, with the platform and uh, hopefully uh, do some more videos for you guys thanks again